It's uh, very nice of you to stay and uh, help me, children. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. What do we have to do, Tony? You can uh, help me make it a shiva fruit soup. Cassandra knows how to do it. She'll explain it to you. You have to sort out the shiver fruit and remove the ones that smell like fish. It won't be so easy with my cold at all. So go home, you little leech. I'll do just fine by myself. Uh, I can't. I was supposed to do my cleaning chores at home, so I said I had to prepare a report at the school library. <laughs> Mm, uh, okay, I think I can handle it. Take your time. When you are all finished, you're going to get a surprise. Awesome. So why do we have to take out the ones that smell like fish? To give the little brat something to talk about. I can't wait to go to the Shivers Eve party. I didn't get to go last year. Did you go? How was it? It was terrifying. We were all scared stiff. Really? What happened? Mr. Bernard made us promise to keep it a secret. Ha! But I'm not afraid to tell my friends everything. Um, so you don't mind telling me then? It's not a story for little wimps. You might have nightmares or something. Hey, come on. I'm not a little wimp. Whatever you say. It was just last year for the annual Shiver's Eve party. It was like the sky itself wanted to strike us down. Like every year, Tony made his famous shiver fruit soup. And by then, the harm was already done, but no one knew it yet. <laughs> Don't you think this soup smells like feet? <laughs> it's your nose that smells like feet. Subrata, Keep an eye on the class for a minute. I, I don't feel very well. I'm, I'm going to go see Greta. Be good, children. We should have been more careful. But we were only thinking about having fun. And when she came back, everything went crazy. What in the world is going on here? Since you've decided to act like little terrorists, take out a piece of paper for pop quiz. And anyone who doesn't like it can go straight to the principal's office. <laughs> okay, I get it. You're playing a joke on us, right, Miss Lucille? Do I look like I'm joking? One more minute, and then I collect your papers. What? Already? Silence! Come in! It must be time for gym class. And today, I'm in charge! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two! And down, and up, and down, and up! I don't think Aspen really helped her out. And down, and up, and down, and up! It's like a different Lucille. Silence! Justin, Kiku, 10 push-ups extra for both of you. And 20 for you, Subra, since you've got four arms. Lucille, can I have a quick word with you? We've got to do something. Hmm. Lucille, I'm not against the fact that you get tough in your classroom, but the gym class is my territory. True, but that was before. Before what? You! Finish your push-up, and then give me five laps! Come with me. I want to show you something. Can't take any more. Please. Na, 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 Way to go, kids! It's excellent job. I'm so proud of you. It's very important to exercise, you know. People don't get enough exercise these days, and yet a healthy body means a healthy mind, doesn't it? Um, are you okay, miss? Of course I'm okay, Justin. Why wouldn't I be okay? True, I was a bit tired this morning, but since our separation earlier, I feel much better. Oops, I shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> I'm such a blabbermouth. 
She's gone completely wacko. What's all this about a separation? Something must have happened to her. We have to go tell Mr. Goddard about this. Oh, if you only knew how good it feels to be able to speak freely, because I have many things to say. But when we're all together, I'm always obliged to contain myself. Looking for someone? Well, well, well. Come in here, you nosy little kids, and no complaining about it. I won't bother introducing you to your former teacher, nice Lucille. This is shy Lucille. Hi there. And this is absent-minded Lucille. What? Was someone talking to me? Wh what'd you say? Who are you? And you already know, tough Lucille. And I'm mean Lucille. We noticed. Silence! Nice Lucille had the upper hand on us for too long. We didn't have the right to exist. But those days are done. Now it's our turn to rule. Come on, bind these brats and meet me at the entrance. And don't forget to lock the door. Oh, yeah, in case you're wondering, I've decided to take control of this school so that it becomes a model of discipline and obedience. How do you think all of this happened? I don't know. I have to run some tests first. Please don't resent me, kids. I have no idea what came over me. Uh, oh! Uh, oh, what a headache. Huh? What happened? Yeah! Oh, stop it. I, I don't like people looking at me. Uh, what is it that we were supposed to be doing? <coughs> oh, uh, go to the entrance, right? But why? <coughs> oh, I think I've got it. Uh, I have no idea. Well, too bad. When I was little, I was very shy and extremely absent-minded. Weird. These must be different sides of your personality coming out. Why don't we have a debate, huh? A debate, that's a good way to have a conversation. Let's everyone have a say that we have to be very clear on the debate rules so that everyone gets the same amount of speaking time. All right, then what do you want to have a debate about? How about a, a debate about endives? If I could just listen to me, and I am listening, by the way, I I'd eat endives every day of the week. You know, I didn't tell you that this morning I stumbled on an endive behind my freezer, actually, and all thanks to my dear cat, Pom Pom. There must be some kind of way out of here. Hey! Look! Absent-minded Lucille forgot the keys in the lock! Naturally! We have to get up! It's impossible. Way to Way go, to go Zubra. Zubra! Ha! Well done, my malicious myselves! Now school's cut out from the outside. <laughs> I have a penknife in my desk. We can use it to escape. My butt's, like, starting to hurt. And so who do I see but an old friend from my childhood? So I call him, and we talk, and we talk, and we talk. And, well, I talked anyway. You can guess what I talked about. The story of my incredible end dive. Now let's take care of the rest of the class. And after only 10 minutes, I realized I hadn't even asked him his name. Enough! Yeah! Yeah! Stop! Catch them! I've said a hundred times that it's forbidden to wander the hallways during class time. Lucy! Please, Mr. Snooprack. I make the rules around here. I am the low. That's all in the past. Enough! There are too many Ed Honshows in this here school. Which one do you have in mind, Goddard? <laughs> it's medication time. Mm. 
負けた So, what exactly happened? Why did that happen to Lucille? The shiver fruits were the problem. The ones that smelled like fish. One of them made it into Tony's soup. But what's the deal with the shiver fruits? What do they do? Greta explained to us that some people are really allergic to them. They can make you go completely crazy. But why didn't you tell me this sooner? How do you know if you're allergic or not? I don't know. I guess you have to try one. <laughs> What's GB? GB gave up after a while. He went home. Oh, too bad for him. He doesn't know what he's missing. So, did you try them? How are they? These ones are perfectly ripe. Well, the party isn't for three days. You can take them. If you hadn't sorted them out, they would have gone rotten and spoiled the other ones. Hmm, they're just enough to make a big bottle of juice. Something that tells me you won't be the only one to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see my mother in the hospital tomorrow. I wanted to surprise her. And she loves shiver fruit juice, you know. Oh, what a good girl you are. You come with me. I'm going to give you my special recipe to get rid of that fishy smell. You tell me how it goes. I always wonder why they smell like fish when they were ripe. I have to remember to ask a librarian about that one. <laughs> 